Talk now an alarming new report about the state of nursing homes in America with 1000 closing down in just the last few years. And hundreds more are at risk. This includes right here in the Houston area. KPRC 2's Taisha Walker joins us now live from the newsroom with those details. Taisha. Keith and Lauren, according to a new report, closures of nursing homes have been spiking since 2015 and have heightened due to COVID. A newly released report from the American Healthcare Association focuses on the impact the pandemic has had on nursing homes. 327 nursing homes have closed nationwide during the pandemic, with 400 more projected this year, according to the report. The AHCA says more than 44,000 residents have been displaced by closures since 2015. It looks like it's an industry generated report, um, so they're they're getting their message out. They're telling us what they want us to know. Greg Shelley is the ombudsman for UT Health Houston. He advocates on behalf of people living in nursing homes and assistant living facilities. Shelley says he's skeptical of the data, which he says could be more transparent, but he is noticing nursing homes shutting down. Shelley recalls about six within Harris County within the last eight years. In a couple of those cases, the facilities that closed were poor performing ones, um, not doing a great job with quality of care um, and having trouble having a high occupancy. The AHCA attributes a majority of nursing home closures to pandemic related safety costs, cuts in government funding and a workforce shortage. The report says residents in urban areas and those who rely on Medicaid are most affected by the closures. Those added costs combined with an already low Medicaid reimbursement rate is going to put further strain on these providers and then decisions are going to have to be made about whether or not they can maintain and keep their, their doors open. Kevin Warren is the president and CEO of Texas Healthcare Association. He says the federal reimbursement rate for care is far less than actual costs. He says should the federal government end its public health emergency aid, that could put even more nursing homes in financial danger. We've got to implement a Medicaid fiscal policy that addresses those ongoing increases in order to make sure that these buildings can maintain the care that those residents deserve. Shelley says the real issue he sees isn't fiscal. But the lack of staffing in nursing homes is a huge generalization directly correlated to poor care. It's not everybody. Certainly there's providers that are doing a good job. I hope that in the near future we will have more accountability. Shelley says a better trained and more certified workforce will ultimately result in better quality care in nursing homes. Live in the newsroom, Taisha Walker, KPRC 2 News.